You're welcome to the Meza channel. We are an end time channel. Uh, we did a video exposing the dark kingdom. And part one, we focus on uh, Satan. And in this part two, we are still focusing on the dark kingdom. Part two is directed to how the dark kingdom is organized so we are focusing on organization and satan is the prince of this world and let's go to uh, the book of john john chapter 14 verse 30 uh, john 14 30 hereafter i will not talk much with you for the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me. The Lord was saying that he hasn't taken anything from Satan, who is the prince of this world. And so the Lord himself said that Satan is the prince of this world. And you have to understand that a time is coming when there will be an eviction notice and Satan and his angels will be dispossessed of their possessions because of sin that went through Adam. Satan got control of this world. And when we're talking about the end times, we're talking about the time when the Lord is coming to rule as the kingdoms in this world pass away the kingdom of satan so in part two of our expose we are looking at the satanic kingdom and how it is organized uh, based upon uh, the book that i show you uh, in part one mysterious secrets of the dark kingdom the author pastor timon says that a uh, satanic kingdom is uh, divided into four uh, operations and he talks about Rome at the center of the west operation, Mecca at the center of the east, Sydney, Australia at the center of the south and Moscow in Russia <coughs> at the center of the northern kingdom. So the satanic kingdom is organized. Um, you can say it's well organized um, into different um, operations. Um, some insiders also have other revelations and they mention important cities and countries in the world that are very very important uh, for the satanic kingdom and if you look at Uzioma, Nathan Uzioma, the Nigerian author, the, the author of Occult Grandmaster now in Christ, um, certain nations and certain cities in the world are very important and one of the nations that is very important is Benin, a West African nation. Uh, most people who um, are well versed in the Satanic Kingdom know that Benin is a major occult center in the world. Benin is in West Africa. Um, some people also mention uh, San Francisco. Uh, it's a, a center of demonic operations and uh, no one will tell you that there are so many things that go on in, in San Francisco uh, culturally and politically and that is related to the operations of the dark kingdom and Jerusalem is also uh, important so is Berlin and of course definitely I'm not leaving um, the U.S. Um, not living uh, Washington, being the capital of the United States, 
the United States being the country that I believe to be the Babylon spoken of in the book of Revelation. Um, Ephesians 6 verse 12 talks about uh, principalities and powers, rulers of darkness and spiritual weakness in high places. So there are four um, aspects of the demonic structure. Uh, in terms of the principalities, uh, the uh, the power uh, there are people uh, directly under uh, Satan, and below them are the powers, and below the powers are the rulers of darkness, and then we have the spiritual wickedness in high places. We have already talked about Satan in part one, and let's focus on the principalities and pastor timon identifies four principalities and the, the first one is apollyon um, this principality is in the operation of instigating propagating and promoting false religion um, if satan is able to um, cause your attention to focus on a false religion, Satan, ha Satan has succeeded because he has succeeded in directing your attention from the true teachings of the Bible, the true teachings of the holy prophets, the, the teachings of uh, Elohim. So Apollyon, a principality in charge of false religion. Abaddon. Abaddon is the next principality. He's in charge of polluting people's habits. Whether it's drinking, whether it's your sex habit, whether it's addictions, uh, all those habits, habits that will take people to hell. And the uh, under the operations of Abaddon and the next um, principality is Berlia. Berlia, B -E -L -I -A -L. Berlia is responsible for war and death. Um, in, in the scriptures, you know that in the last day there will be wars and destructions and the department of the dark kingdom responsible for wars and destruction is headed by a principality called Belia. And the last principality um, in the dark kingdom is the beast. You know about the beast? Uh, it's very popular. Most people know about the beast or the antichrist. And what is his function his function is to deceive people to worship the antichrist the beast is the antichrist who um, deceive people to worship him the antichrist uh, definitely if you are worshiping the antichrist you are worshiping uh, satan himself the beast will be empowered by uh, satan the last days to set up a kingdom that will be headed by the Antichrist and also set up a false religious system and to give the mark of the beast. By all standards, the beast is the most wicked of all the principalities. So uh, let's go to the powers. Uh, Pastor Timons in the book Mysterious Secrets of the Dark Kingdom. Uh, he mentions um, eight powers. They are under the principalities. And I will just mention a few of them. Ashtaroth. Ashtaroth. Uh, some of you know about Ashtaroth. She's also known as the Queen of Heaven. And I believe that the Statute of Liberty is a symbol of the Ashtaroth. Another power is Baal, B-A-L-L. 
um, Baal was worshipped by the Canaanites as a god. The other power is Magog. Magog is a demon of war. Magog is a demon of war and he will work closely with Belia who is a principality of war and death. <coughs> we also have Basibu and we have Mammon. Mammon is a secular um, a person working in the secular world and actually is promoting the love for money. You remember money is one of the ways through which Satan deceives people and so the power called mammon will be responsible for um, luring people to focus on money so that they will lose their salvation. Uh, when, if there's time, we'll go over. Uh, let's look at the rulers of darkness. Um, okay, before I go to the rulers of darkness, I want to make it clear that Satan is a spirit being. The principalities are also spirit being. And the powers are spirit beings. They are fallen angels who are working with Satan to control the world. We have rulers of darkness and the rulers of darkness are human beings who are working uh, for Satan. Whether they are presidents of their country, they are pastors, they are professors, they are uh, business people, uh, they are in the media, uh, they are part of the rulers of darkness. They rule in the dark world. They have assignments and they go with covenants. They sign agreement with the satanic kingdom. And usually the agreements carry the penalty of death. They are very wicked. Um, the secular world is controlled by the rulers of darkness. Um, somebody could be a president of a country. Somebody could be a pastor of a mega church. But the person may still be a ruler of darkness because he has a secret covenant with Satan to promote the satanic kingdom. Along the um, among the rulers of darkness, we also have the witches or, and wizards. And they can be male, they can be female. And some witches have both male and female organs. And they are able to cause women to have miscarriage. So if a woman is pregnant the woman may get miscarried because of the pressures of the rulers uh, of darkness uh, then we also have spiritual wickedness in high places and those uh, wicked spirits these are wicked spirits and they they cause so many things diseases demonic possessions um, attitudes, bad attitudes, bad habits, whether you're talking about smoking, whether you are talking about drinking, drinking, talking about drugs. Um, let me say that uh, there are certain habits that are controlled by demons and they do it for a purpose. Um, if you drink, um, if you take drugs, you remember that they impair your mental ability, your mental capacity, and they have so many things that they do to your mind with the intent of destroying your mind. You remember that the Lord said, don't you know your physical body is the temple of God? He who destroys this temple, who they, is, it, it will be that person will be destroyed uh, to paraphrase it your body is the temple of god and if you defy your body 
you defy the temple of God. So it is uh, important to know that the spiritual wickedness in high places, um, they engage in all kinds of destruction through diseases, through demonic possession, through demonic attitudes and habits, they can also cause deaths. And we have demonic spirits. And the Bible talks about um, some of these demonic spirits, the spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel. Um, the spirit operates through sexual intercourse with leaders of a nation so that the spirit can control the nation. So there's a nation called X and the leader of X is being controlled by a spirit called Jezebel, Jezebel. and Jezebel will go through the king. You remember the case of King Ahab who was married to Jezebel, who was a demonic um, woman and used her demonic spirits to uh, kill the prophets of God. And they control, the Jezebel spirit control nations and also destroys prophetic ministries. So this is one of the demonic spirits. The other spirit that I will focus on is Molech. Um, the Molech likes mocking God by causing um, his worshippers, the worshippers of God, to sacrifice their children through fire rituals. So Molech will mock God by influencing God's worshippers, or rather worshippers of Molech, uh, to sacrifice their children through fire. And the Bible is very clear. Um, the Hebrews did that. Uh, they, they, they had babies and then they sacrificed their children uh, to Molech through fire. And I believe that the Molech spirit is still working in nations, particularly nations that have encouraged women to abort. And the aborted babies are being used as sacrifice to Molech. And this um, ritual is still going on in um, other nations of the world, including the United States. Talking about the spirit, um, we also have the queen of the coast, uh, a demonic spirit, and um, the spirit is encountered in parts of Africa. And this spirit comes uh, um, physically uh, to have um, sexual relations with people in order to uh, cause them to commit fornication and adultery. Okay, so um, that is the organization. And let's talk a little about the operation. How does the dark kingdom operate? The kingdom of darkness headed by Satan and the principalities and power. They operate through fear and intimidation. Uh, fear and intimidation, they will intimidate you and you will be put into fear because you sign a covenant of death and they will blackmail you if you reveal the secrets then they will kill you unless you have a pastor or a man of god who, who is so powerful to deliver you unless the lord himself uh, delivers you as you i remember nathan ozoma the nigerian who wrote the book awkward grandmaster now in christ um, he was arrested by Yeshua, Jesus Christ himself, when he was um, going to do a satanic operation. So we're talking about operation, we are saying that the satanic kingdom operates by fear and intimidation. Um, 
remember I told you the story of a pastor in Canada who was blinded by Satan for 14 years because he revealed a secret of the dark kingdom. So if Satan blinds you for 14 years, and then you will learn sense. Um, Satan is also able to control the world through spiritual satellite control systems. Um, in the physical world, nations like the US and Russia, they have satellites monitoring operations over the world. In the same way, the Satanic Kingdom has spiritual satellite control system and even witches that are less powerful than the powers and principalities have this um, monitoring system and satan also is able to control the world to through controlling the mind it controls your mind and is able to control your body um, satan also attacks the church the people of God through spiritual warfare. And when I see Satan attacks the people of God, I've mentioned the church. I also mentioned the Hebrews who are the children of God scattered over the world. They've gone through afflictions. And if you read Deuteronomy chapter 28, you see the curses that the Lord imposed on the Hebrews. And Satan is, and his angels carry these uh, curses and they are able to wage war, spiritual war, spiritual warfare um, against the chosen people of God. Um, three things are important when you're talking about satanic um, operations. They are modus operandi, money, power, women. Or you, or you can also say money, power, uh, fame. Um, they can also control you by terminating your appointment, your employment, and attacking your profession. You are a lawyer, you are uh, a, medi um, a medical um, doctor, you are an accountant, you are a teacher. Um, Satan is able to destroy your profession. You are a business person, you are a worker. And Satan can also cause the termination uh, of your uh, appointment. Um, basically, the intent is to bankrupt you financially. Financial bankruptcy is very, very um, important because when you don't have money, then you cannot support the church. And if you don't support the church, it means you and not supporting um, the kingdom of God. And so these are some of the means through which uh, Satan controls uh, the world. And diseases, uh, we we'll talk about it, um, control you through diseases and can also make you successful. Satan can promote you. And they also now are using scientific ways of controlling people technological advances are being used to um, lure particularly the young children from God. I'm talking about video, game, video games. Um, your children spend all their time on video games and they don't read the Bible. If you have a Bible app on, the, on their phone, they will not read it. And fleshy things, cars, clothing and houses very very nice things um, it's important for you to know that these material things are invented in the satanic kingdoms they have laboratories in the spiritual realm and they invent so many flashy things uh, to come to the world clothing all styles all uh, fashion um, uh, 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 um, are promoted in the in the world so that people will um, devote their time to material things and ignore the the works of God, ignore the scripture. And in the satanic kingdom, uh, there's promotion. 
and God um, God promotes people and Satan also promotes people and let's talk about how Satan promotes people um, as we conclude part two uh, of our expose on the dark kingdom promotion in the kingdom of darkness promotion through having sex with the devil so if you are in the dark kingdom and you want to be promoted into the dark kingdom one of the ways through which you get promotion is to have sex with a demon uh, let me pause here and i remember um, a woman that i helped an african woman um, from nigeria and she confided in me that he she had sex with um, demons and i thought that she was a victim of demonic attack uh, but now I, I, after reading i've known the reason why she had sex with the demons it means that she wanted to be promoted in the dark kingdom and she's a woman who does not believe in Yeshua, she doesn't think she needs to go to heaven because she has been told that uh, on the day of judgment there's a place that people can hide. They will not go to heaven and they will not also not go to hell because there's a place they can hide. And so now I remember when she told me, I went to her house and she told me she had just had sex with demons. So I believe that she did that because she wanted to be promoted in the dark kingdom. So having sex with, with a devil is one way of getting promotion. Sharing a meal with Satan. Uh, in the occult realm, uh, people who reach the high level, um, they are honored, quote unquote, by having uh, dinner with Satan himself. Um, if a president invites you to the palace to have dinner that is an honor and to these uh, people who have lost their lives who have lost their souls they um, get promotion through having a meal with satan number three people also get promotion through drinking human blood with satan um, the satanic agents um, the they live by human blood. So when there's war, there's a lot of blood. They have a blood bank and Satan drinks blood. The principalities and powers, they drink blood. And people who kill in the spiritual realm, they sacrifice the blood to Satan so that Satan and his generals will drink human blood. And the fourth way of getting uh, promotion is through dancing to uh, his music. Uh, why is it? Why is it so? Uh, Satan was the leader of the um, the choir in heaven, a very good singer before he rebelled against God, and so he controls the music industry. And he also con controls the worship. Uh, industry in churches and there are a lot of churches whose worship ministry has been infiltrated by Satan and so if you get if you want to get promotion one way of getting promotion is to dance to Satan's uh, music uh, so I will leave here and I will uh, continue with part three of the expose uh, of Satan and in part two as we uh, we have done we have looked at the organization of the satanic kingdom uh, being organized uh, with Satan at the top and the principalities behind him and the powers um, coming um, uh, on the another level and then rulers of darkness and then the spiritual wickedness in dark places um, or it's not well uh, it doesn't mean that there's no tension in the satanic kingdom there are tensions in the satanic kingdom 
and Satan has to bribe and manipulate his way in order to uh, be able to control um, the Satanic kingdom. According to Nathan Uzoma, the author of Occult Grandmaster Now in Christ, uh, he said one day uh, they were in a meeting with Satan and some Christians were praying and fire was coming from their prayer camp and it hit the camp where Satan was with uh, these people including Nathan Uzoma and Satan ran away. They were running away and Satan himself was running away. And according to Nathan Uzoma, that is the major reason why um, he left the satanic kingdom because he he thought Satan was so invisible, so powerful. But when he saw Satan fleeing from the camp because holy fire was coming from um, a prayer camp somewhere, um, then he lost credibility. <coughs> so that is the end of our expose part two of our series exposing the dark kingdom watch part three that will come soon and subscribe to the uh, the channel share the links to the video that i will leave in the description box thank you very much